Hello students, welcome to this podcast on the GATE 2025 syllabus and it, any modification about it. This is Sekar from M Sigma Gokulam. I have got an experience of more than 30 years in the GATE coaching. Uh, I have worked in uh, vast, uh, be very big uh, uh, corporate institutes across India. Now with uh, I am with M Sigma Gokulam. And uh, sitting with me, none other than Mr. Sastri, who is also a very renowned teacher uh, in uh, electronics and communication engineering, teaching particularly so famous for the digital electronics. And also he is a uh, sixth ranker in IES, he is an IES officer, ex-IES officer, and also a double digit ranker in the gate. Um, and he has got more than 15 years of uh, teaching experience, teaching uh, digital electronics and advanced digital communications, etc. And uh, let uh, let me introduce Sasri sir. Hello sir. Uh, we all must have seen the uh, gate syllabus also. Gate uh, notification. I'm sorry. Uh, web gate website also you must have seen. Is there any change in the exam pattern, sir? Uh, sir, in the exam pattern there is no significant change. But the only thing is uh, they standardize the marks for mathematics. Hmm. Normally mathematics used to be somewhere around uh, 12, 13 marks to 15 marks. But this time they made it a standard that mathematics will be only 13 marks. Mm -hmm. 72 marks will be other technical papers and 15 marks will be the general attitude. Paper. So apart from that standardization, there is no other change in the pattern. They fixed the pattern. Yeah. So the 15 for the aptitude, and and, uh, uh, that will be for the mass. Yes. And so do for the core engineering. Core engineering. That's what's yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. And uh, is there any change in the syllabus, sir? Electronics and communication engineering syllabus? No, sir. No, sir. So the syllabus stands the same as whatever is the syllabus that is last year. The same is the syllabus this year. So there is no change in syllabus at all. The syllabus stands exactly the same. And uh, for the information, like, from since 2021, there is no change in the syllabus. And this year conducted by IIT Roorkee and again it has conducted uh, previously in the gate uh, 2017. After 2017, this is the turn for the IIT Roorkee which is conducting the gate examination that has been uh, seen in the uh, website also. Sir, uh, as in uh, senior electronics faculty, what is the strategy or what is the plan of preparation uh, you may suggest to the electronics students? Yeah. Sir, roughly there are 10 papers on an average. We say we say with there are 10 papers. 10 subjects. Yeah, 10 subjects. Yeah, 10 subjects that we're having. Mm -hmm. So now basically some of them are tough and some of them are easy. Yes. So always uh, what happens is if you take only one subject while preparation, yes. it will be kind of boring. Yeah. So to make it very interesting, what students should do is they take they should take some one tough subject and one easy subject. For example, generally students feel EMT is tough. Yeah. <laughs> and then look a little bit tough. These are some subjects. Uh, not everybody, but some students. On the other hand, what are the easiest subjects? Generally, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they, they, uh, network theory is considered easy, and uh, signal systems is easy. Yeah. Distance is also easy. Yeah. So generally, sandwiching is very good. Yeah. Suppose uh, while preparation, for example, say let's plan for July. Okay. Yeah. In this, uh, let's say for example, in the month of July, we are uh, we should take one easy subject, one tough subject. Yeah. So preparing two subjects at the same time, what happens is uh, it'll improve the efficiency and also interest in the preparation. Otherwise, we get bored. Yeah, if you yeah. take tough monotonous. subject, yeah, monotonous. If you take tough subject and keep reading, it's difficult. But if you make a combination of two subjects, so two to three subjects per month is very good, uh, decent amount of uh, um, uh, decent amount of time to complete those subjects. So in this, op in my opinion, if we go in this way, in, if you see the ECE, electronics and communication, we have signals and systems, okay, and uh, network theory or uh, network theory, circuit theory. Digital electronics, control systems, these are some pure mathematical subjects. In that, is there any sequence, say, for example, to have the communication? I think uh, uh, signals and systems, I'm mechanical man. I just have my <laughs> skill, I would like to. Yeah, yeah. So no, basically, yeah. if you see, for analog electronics, uh, uh, EDC, EDC, EDC is required. Uh, electronic device is required. Okay, EDC is required. And for uh, communications engineering, uh, basics of signals is required. So, but other than that, most of the other subjects are independent. 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 So, control systems is independent. Network theory, of course, network theory is basic to everything. Yeah. Unless we know the circuit theory, yeah. so which we also call net, called as a network theory. So, it's the basic, without which nothing can happen, okay, in our ECE. So, of course, but uh, more or less they're independent. Any we have to accept their EDC analog uh, and uh, signals uh, communication. communication. Most of the, they're independent subjects. So students can prepare in a sandwich manner, take one tough subject, one easy subject and prepare, okay? And many students, what they do is uh, they, they focus only on the easy subjects. Uh, remember friends, what happens is uh, you are focusing only on digital controls, network signals, fine. Okay, but uh, the problem is in those questions, because everybody, it's easy for everybody, so everybody will try to prepare only those subjects. Then, uh, and also gate exam knows, the gate examiner knows that, he also gives some tricky questions. So don't leave the tough subjects. Don't leave EMT, don't leave analog, okay? 
don't leave any tough subject because they are also important because sometimes what you think is tough is given easy by the guys like that. Oh, uh, you assure should not take any chance. Sometimes questions may come easy from the the toughest subject you may feel. Correct. Sometimes the uh, toughest questions may be asked from the easy easy subjects are easy. Yeah. Because now we are having time. We are still in the July. Okay, we are having a lot of time. So I think it's good that you make a proper plan and proper strategy so that uh, you can make a good preparation. We'll also come up with a video how to strategize. What should we prepare in what month? We'll come back with that more details. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sandwiching is good, sir. Yeah. Is it, is it good to look into the previous year's questions also, sir? That is, I suppose some uh, many students uh, will ask me that. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, is it uh, worth seeing the previous year PYQs? Yeah. Uh, is uh, is it worth uh, looking down actually for getting the good score in the gate? Yeah, because if you see the gate paper, if you see for hundred marks, okay, uh, let's say sixty five questions, hundred marks is our paper. So out of these sixty five questions, at least thirty percent of the questions will be. A mixture of the previous questions. Yes, this yes, so answer will be answer will be repeated. A yes, question may not be the same, yeah. but uh, mixture of questions, two three questions will mix and create a new question. So if we are if we are able to do the previous questions for EC people, if you do ECE and instrumentation paper, okay, because instrumentation syllabus is more or less same as EC syllabus. Except in one or two one or two subjects. So majority syllabus is same, and instrumentation questions are also good standard questions. Mm. So if EC people are able to do along with EC, if they are able to do instrumentation questions, previous years, previous years, previous years questions, the hundred percent you can get a very good rank. Cool. And it's so the same applies for instrumentation also. Electrical also is seventy uh, percent syllabus same, except the machines, power systems, and power electronics. Yeah. Syllabus except is the uh, power electronics, uh, the power machines, and all major both both of the subjects are different. But other than that, uh, most of the syllabus is common for uh, all the three branches. So yeah. And that, that type of questions, maybe the depth of the questions, the toughness of the questions, say for example, if you take the signals and systems, that is common for both the electrical and electronics. Would you see any kind of like ECE will be tougher? Of course, course, of course. And the depth of the questions is higher ECE. When you take uh, signals and systems, which is core for ECE, these are core branches for electronics. Yes, sir. So signals and systems, digital electronics uh, or um, circuit theory also. The, the depth of the questions is very high. Uh, in the EC, paper. in EC, in EC as compared paper. to the electrical, uh, compared to EC, uh, uh, but uh, again, instrumentation paper he does more depth. So instrumentation questions are more practical oriented. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend my EC friends, if you're EC, do compulsory solve instrumentation questions also. You know, previous, 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 previous year questions uh, because they are very practical oriented questions. By solving instrumentation questions, you will have a lot of insight into subject. Mm -hmm. They're very practical oriented. So the, the, in that way, they may get a best rank in the like easy, 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 easy. Yes. By solving the instrumentation. Yeah, yeah. By solving instrumentation questions, you will get by our previous year questions, you will get this. Also, one more thing, there is IAS electrical optional. Before 2010, IAS electrical had objective. Mm, yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, so before 2010, IAS electrical, civil services, IAS, IPS, electrical engineering optional as an objective type before 2010. Uh, and still also they have mains. So as a good preparation strategy, that's a good collection of questions. IAS, civil services, electrical optional questions are very, very good. So said, the name says electrical engineering, but the syllabus is electrical plus EC plus instrumentation syllabus. All put together. All put together. Uh, because the mother branch is electrical. Uh, okay. So if you see, yeah. I got my MTech uh, in VLSI, in microelectronics. But in IIT, IIT, IIT Madras, IIT Madras, but it is written as MTech in electrical engineering. Uh, yes. You as such, electrical and IITs don't have an easy branch. Easy branch, yeah. And if you get a good rank in the IIT JE, if you go to the IIT, you can't opt for an EC because there is no branch at all. It's a school of electrical engineering. That's it. Department yeah. of electrical engineering. Department where EC people, instrumentation people, yeah, it's all these specializations. All, 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 all will be under one umbrella. Yeah. So, uh, so IAS, civil services, electrical optional, is a very, very good, good uh, set of books there, okay? You can just do the previous questions of IAS Electrical. That will be very much helpful. Very, very, very much. And many gate, gate questions are there from IAS Electrical. Really? Uh -huh. ah, so, a lot of gate questions are there from IAS Electrical. They have come in gate exam. Okay. So, in all the subjects. So, okay. yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good area. So, in, for EC people, instrumentation papers are very good. Of course, you should solve EC paper first. Then, instrumentation papers. Then, IAS Electrical option is very, very good. Yeah. So very, very, very informative, sir. And one more thing, as such a... Uh, the, you are having MCQ, MSQ, and NET. Three different kinds of uh, questions will be yes. used to ask in the yes, I see. Yes. So, uh, I mean, uh, would you uh, would you suggest anything to the students regarding that? Yeah, uh, MCQ have uh, you know MCQ A B C D. So you might take random chances. They have negative mark. <laughs> no, okay, so, okay. so what so, third mark will be taken if you think if it was a wrong answer? Yeah, yeah. MCQs uh, have with that, uh, but MSQs are multi-select. So suppose, for example, uh, in MSQ you can have option only A or you can have option A, B, C, C, D. All four can be correct. One of them can be correct. So MSQ. 
and numeric capability is filling the blanks. For example, AT, NAT is filling the blanks. For MSQs, multi-select options and uh, this multi-select uh, multiple options and uh, this NAT does not have any. They do not MSQs have MSQs and NAT don't have any negative marking. Whereas MSQ will have that. Yeah, two marking is there. Yeah. We selected two marks question. I mean, uh, uh, multiple uh, choice question. If it is goes wrong, you will have to lose two third of the mark. If it yes. is a one mark question, you will have to lose one third, third of the one yeah. third of one third of that. That's so we have to be very careful. If you are not sure about the answer, don't add up. Generally, we suggest that the law of probability always appears there. Okay, don't choose if you know. If you are only when you are sure about the multiple choice questions, go to the answer. Don't uh, try for the negative marking. Don't go for the negative marking. Whereas you can have the MSQ. Of course, MSQ uh, unless otherwise you have to put all the three up. Supposing there are three options correct. Unless otherwise three options you have to mark, you will not be given a, a full mark. Suppose if you answer two, only two answers correct, you will not be awarded a partial marking. You will either all the correct options you have to mark, then only you will be given a complete marking. So that is one thing you have to be very much careful. Correct. Yes. Uh, and uh, in, uh, uh, in fact, uh, many students keep asking me, there are combinations of uh, uh, subject branches you may write. Say, for example, an electrical uh, engineering graduate, he can attempt ECE paper also. He can attempt the instrumentation also. Can you have any some, some kind of suggestion? Yeah, this is a very good uh, thing uh, done by the gate committee that you can attempt multiple papers. Oh, yes. Very so good. that means uh, if I'm ECE, I can also, for, along with my ECE first paper, I can also write one more instrumentation paper or an electrical paper. I also have an option to write computer science paper or uh, data science and uh, artificial intelligence paper and physics paper also. So the ECE people have choice. So the, you can write two papers. So along with the first paper, yeah. we have an option to write second paper. Yeah. I would always recommend that because the closest branch happens to be instrumentation. So attempt to ec and ECU. instrumentation of closest. Closest. <laughs> so for EC fellows, it's always good that you write instrumentation paper as the second paper code. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the best way because uh, you are your self. Often subjects may be different, sir. By say EC is there. In two subjects, yeah. Was two sir? Yes. And they're very simple. That two subjects also we study in our BTEC. Oh, okay. The two subjects what are there for instrumentation? Yeah. We study them in BTEC. Uh, as a very two maybe like yeah, two yeah, and we don't. Only thing is they don't they are not there in gate service. Oh. So they are not very tough. Yeah. But uh, still, it's not at all a problem because uh, see, gate paper is hundred. The first rank will be say around eighty marks. Not even eighty, sir. Yeah, yeah. Rare. Yes, the paper is difficult. Even in your topper may end up in seventy only. Seventy is only. Seventy is out of five. So between seven to eighty is first mark. So out of hundred marks, so still even if you take eighty also, still twenty marks is there. So two subjects is less than twenty. So not a problem. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the subjects. You prepare for your EC syllabus or your instrumentation syllabus. You be happy. You can write other syllabus. Not a problem. So any any other combination possible, sir? I say electric EC guy can write electrical also. Of course, electrical. But I would recommend because there are no the reason being for electrical. You have to read power systems. You have to read machines, measure angles and the power electrics. So your the preparation should be much higher. Okay. EC fellows can write electrical if they are preparing for civil services. Mm -hmm. If your future, you are planning to become IAS, IPS, yes, okay? right. taking electrical as optional, mm -hmm. then I would recommend yet you take electrical as optional, electrical along with EC, take electrical paper. Mm -hmm. So that this syllabus, what you learn will be future, it will be helpful to write IAS, IPS, civil service exam. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, if you are only planning for gate exam, then I would recommend you take only the instrumentation paper. Insur rather than the electrical. Rather than electrical. Even if they write the electrical, I think among the four, I think power electronics is the more uh, subject where they get their, lag, I think, great yield of marks. Yeah, yeah. So what is yes, yes, yes. Power electronics, electronics uh, is a kind of extension uh, of EDC only. Mm -hmm. So it's a device, so it's it can be learned easily. So, but the uh, only difficulty will come with uh, machines is also fine. We also study machines, but uh, the depth of machines is higher for electrical. Power systems is complete. Complete way to know you. You yeah. are the AC people. AC people. We don't know anything on power systems. Mm -hmm. Machines we, we read in our VTEC so we can manage that. Mm -hmm. Power electrons is also fine but uh, measurements we read. But the only thing is power systems we don't know. Power systems. So right. Electronics people don't know anything. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It is, is the converse true sir. Say for, for example instrumentation guy is there. Can he easily write the AC? Yes. Electrical, sir. Which one? Uh, yeah. Instrumentation guy can write AC. The only thing is instrumentation people don't study EFT in great detail. There's a subject called electromagnetic theory. Okay. Okay. Very tough subject to do <laughs> generally. <laughs> but but, but actually, in our uh, M. Singh Bhagavad we have the great uh, teacher called V.S. Suresh. Yeah, he taught it very nicely. Uh, 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 so, uh, the EMT is actually a very interesting subject. Uh, so, um, so, uh, so, there are some subjects like uh, e, uh, EMT is uh, the syllabus is less or is not there. Next is communication. The depth of communication for EC is very high. 
the depth of communication for okay. the expedition is very, very less. So other than that, uh, most of the syllabus is uh, see. same. So you suggest instrumentation be pulled right to write the easy yes, yes. The combination. Yes, yes, yes. Rather than going to the electrical. Electrical, yes. Because yes. in the electrical, there are four core subjects, uh, which may generally uh, students feel tougher, particularly power systems and uh, missions. They are the main uh, core subjects of electrical, which may people find it difficult. Okay. Uh, so these are the uh, combinations you may select. So finally, uh, as the expert is telling that easy expert, uh, sir, uh, Sassiris are telling that, EC people better use choose the instrumentation. Electrical uh, EC people, uh, instrumentation people choose the EC because the combination between the electronics and instrumentation is very, very close, very proximate, rather than with the electrical asset. Yeah. So that is the thing uh, we would like to suggest. And uh, uh, um, any, um, any preparation uh, like uh, things such strategy, the yeah, exact yeah. test is like that. In yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Tell. But one thing is don't make mistakes. And also, please check while filing your application form. I've yes. seen students, uh -huh. for, uh, by filling for the, when, uh, while filling up the application form for gate exam, uh -huh. they, to, they make a lot of mistakes. Oh, really? So, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So, once you make a mistake, it's gone. You lose an year. So, don't do mistakes. Please verify, double double check it. Okay, ask your parents or your friends to yes. check the paper before final submission. Yes. Okay? So, don't do mistakes while submitting your application. Any changes later will not be permitted. Yeah, uh, so, so that's a problem. Of course, that process will be starting in the end of the August. Application, uh, notification and all will come at the end of the August. Yeah, yeah. In September, early September. Early, early September. So, please please be careful while filing the application form for gate exam. That's one thing. Now, coming to the strategy, as I told, as I discussed, sir, always take one tough subject, one easy subject. So, for example, we can take network theory and EFD, you can start preparing together. Then we can take analog electronics, digital electronics preparing together. Yeah. Then we can take um, EDC and control systems preparing together. So like this, a sandwich of two to subjects we can make. Control subjects, so uh, do you feel it as easy or tough subjects? Control, control is actually, is also, control is very, very interesting and very simple. Very easy. No, not for doing they say. Yeah, control yeah. systems generally goes for eight to 10. Yeah. So if you see the average weightage, mm -hmm. the the core subjects like network theory, control systems, signals and systems, they all somewhere around eight to 10. Eight to all 10 of them, each one. Yeah. So digital electronics is uh, just uh, around. From your subject, say digital electronics. Uh, it's asking around 11 marks generally. 11 to 13. Or an average. Or 11 to 13. Mm. Uh, one year he'll be asking uh, 9, so one hour, one hour for 13. But generally, 11 marks is the average for digital. Uh, but for control systems, again, 10, 11. Okay, so around, around that mark. So so roughly there are sir, 72 marks for technical subjects, right? So there are seven technical papers. Average on an average. So 10 marks, 8 to 10 marks per paper. Yes. That's what they adjust. Yeah, yeah. roughly yeah. they adjust. This, sometimes this side, sometimes, sometimes that side. Yeah. yeah, so it's like that. Uh, very nice of you, Radhya Rao Sastri, sir. Uh, one of the greatest teachers in electronics and communications. I'm a mechanical man. My name is Sekar. Sorry, Sastri, sir. So uh, thanks for the very informative uh, points for the uh, our students. And all the other doubts uh, and all you can call us and ask also. In fact, some of the faculty members are also given in our app, M Sigma app. Go to the M Sigma Google app and you can download M Sigma Google app. You will get all the details, all the informations and you can interact with the faculties also. Faculty numbers are also given there. So, wish you all the best dear students. Uh, good luck. Good luck for your uh, future uh, exam preparation. Yeah, all the very best students. Okay, God bless you. And uh, do, do download the MSigma app. Uh, we have all the videos, okay? And um, we we'll, we are always there for your uh, you. So help you. To help and support your preparation. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh,